Hey everybody, I'm Tim Musig, the CEO here at JB Prince, and welcome back this week for another live feed of what's new and noteworthy on our little Facebook channel. One thing I wanted to mention quickly before I got started, we've been open for the last nine Saturdays for this holiday season. Just a quick reminder for you local folks, this Saturday will be our last Saturday open. We will probably try and create another schedule early on in 2017, but right now we're trying to close out the year and get things settled, so we will not be here after December 17th, 2016, and just look for announcements, or we'll probably uh, mention it something here on the Facebook Live and some other posts. Again, 2017, we will have some Saturday hours, but for now, we're going to take a little pause and get some holiday rest. With that being said, I'd like to talk to you quickly about something that is relatively new to our lineup in terms of the concept, but it's been expanded upon quite a bit over the last couple of months, and it's something that's classic, something that we all know about, it's specific to pastry and sometimes savory, and that is tart rings. So a couple of months ago, maybe about even a year ago, Debouye did a collaboration with uh, L'Ecole Valrona School, Valrona School in France, and they decided to make a classic tart ring that was a little bit updated and different from what we're traditionally used to seeing. And I'm going to come around to the camera here and kind of show you and give you an idea of what it is exactly that I'm referring to. Traditionally, tart rings would have kind of sort of a rolled edge, and they would also be solid in construction. They kind of ta have taken away the rolled edge, and they've added this series of perforations around the complete outside of the, out of the ring. And I'll explain to you what that's all about. It's a really interesting concept. First, they've removed the rolled edge in an effort to get a cleaner lip or top of the tart when you kind of cut off your doughs. Secondly, the perforations do something that's interesting. I think one of the challenges or one of the problems, if you will, or issues when you're making tart doughs is that you have a tendency to have some maybe some uneven browning and some uneven cooking. And those perforations allow for a better heat transfer and a better browning and make things go a little bit easier, giving you the ability to provide more consistent results to your customers. And that's the end game. Consistency is what we want. The other thing about them that's really, really amazing is not only did they polish them beautifully and piece them together beautifully, they've done a very nice job about polishing the interior. And that's kind of really important for when you want your doughs to release and you want things to come in and out smoothly. Full disclosure, they will leave a little mild impression of perforations on your tart dough. So it's just something to be aware of. But the end result will be much better in terms of a browner, crisper, more even cooked tart shell. Something to think about. So they started again about a year ago with the classic round shape. Why not? Then shortly after that, and that's in the, sorry, I always forget to do this for you folks. That's in the M600 series uh, on our website. Then they moved into something that was a little bit of a break from the tradition, but we've also seen before. A square is another really nice variation of a tart. And that leads me to the next thing, which is more recently, they've really, really kind of pressed it a little bit and changed things. And again, taking some of that excuse me, inspiration from chefs. And they've worked with Chef Renault, who's a chef in France. And not only have they challenged the actual exterior and the lips on the tart, but now they've, they've actually challenged the classic shape and the norm. And I'm just going to come around and show you this tag so you can conceptually have an idea there. That gentleman there, that chef is responsible for kind of sort of this creation and cooperation with WA. And in essence, this abstract form that he's come up with is four triangles kind of pieced together in this interesting shape. And this is a four portion version. That's our item number M702. Really, really interesting stuff. They also elongated it even more and went with a six portion. Uh, again, showing you the perforations and this kind of funky abstract shape. Really, really interesting. Again, show you that tag so you have an idea of kind of sort of what it looks like. Hopefully our cameraman there is getting everything all right. Wonderful. And this one is kind of uh, a really interesting one. And then he went even a step further, and I believe he actually even won a competition or entered a competition with this piece. And again, he's gone with this kind of six-sided, I don't even know what you'd refer to it as, trapezoid kind of shape. Again, a total challenge of the norms. I'm going to show you that tag again. Forgive my big chubby fingers there, guys. But that'll give you a rough idea. So each one of these kind of six-sided shapes acts as a portion. And again, we love this stuff because it stays within the classic in terms of technique. 
but it's really challenging us to think about things a little bit differently. And it's a really nice addition and I think uh, something that may just excite your customers, may just excite you to try something new. Again, taking all those techniques and those traditional things that you know how to do and putting them into a new form. And we always love it when chefs are kind of pushing us to think about things differently and this is definitely a prime example of that. One other thing is a lot more simple, I think it's worth talking about. We've had this one for a little while but it's relatively new. And this is called the EVO spray bottle. It's a stainless steel bottle. It's for spraying oils, which I know we all do often. Pretty simple, kind of like a trigger style uh, clean, cleaning bottle, if you will, but food safe. And it has two spray patterns. They both move in a fan, and I'm going to bring this a little bit closer so you can see. Uh, might be a little bit more difficult, but there's this kind of wide fan pattern that'll spray out this way. And then you can have an off position. And in addition to the off position, it has a vertical, which the fan would just kind of move up and down. This has been a really nice tool for us, really interesting way for you to store oils and fats and spray them and cover a good amount of surface area, which we know often comes up in pastry, and also save reapplications. That's all we have for you this week. Thanks a bunch for joining us, and we'll see you again next Monday.